Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Kendra and as my last video suggested, I'm going to make stuffed uh, potatoes today or twice baked potatoes or there's some other names for them. I can't remember and I just realized I didn't do the bacon yet. So while these are baking, I'm going to fry up some bacon. So these are going to take sour cream, butter, bacon, chives, um, green pep, not green peppers, green onions, um, all kinds of good stuff, cheese, to um, make it tasty. I'm going to bake them. I'm going to slice them in half after they're done baked. I'm going to scoop out the middle, put it in a bowl, and add some good stuff to it. You ever made these before? What do you like to put them put in them if you do? And welcome to my channel if you're brand new because um, we haven't gotten to know one another yet. Uh, I'd love to get to know you. If you have, um, you know, that you want, you can always make a comment and um, get the ball rolling. And that way I'll know you're there and I'll chat with you. If you're not new, welcome back, friends. You know what time it is here? 4.46. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it is already quite dark outside. I can see some light in the horizon. But, you know, we're, we're here in the forest and we're, there's trees, so even when it is, you know, light, it's shaded light. It's good for some things. It keeps the house cooler. So these are clean enough to bake. I'm going to rub them with some oil, I think. It doesn't say that in the... It doesn't say that, but I think it's going to make them crispier. Something else I'm going to use is Lowry's. Now, I'm going to serve them with some other things. I'm going to try to pick you up and just move you over here. I wonder if you can still see. Can you? <laughs> so I'm going to serve them with these. They are bird's eye crispy green beans. I've never made these before. I've got one bag in the deep freeze that I never have used yet. And I knew that wouldn't be enough. So I got some more. And I'm going to do some sliced boneless ham. Whatever they don't eat on their plate tonight, I can reuse, you know, just like chop it up and use it in eggs. I can put it in sandwiches. I can put it in biscuits. There's lots you can do with this. I think this is actually cooked. You just want to, you know, um, give it a, a warm up and a crisp. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it is. Hickory smoked boneless ham. Well, it's smoked, so it's cooked, but... um. It's easy peasy, and I got this probably at Fred Meyer, bunless sliced quarter, $11.13 or $4.97 a pound. Yee, how much is that, you know? I wonder if it's about that price wherever you live. I'm in Washington State. So I'm gonna get busy on the potatoes and get back to you so I don't bore you. Okay, I've washed them. I've got myself a roasting pan here. It's actually a cookie sheet, I think. <laughs> but anyway, um, and then I poked them. With a sharp knife, I did uh, three and then one on the other side. Just poke, poke, poke like that. So let's steam out, I guess. And now it says, the recipe says to uh, drizzle with olive oil. I like to use this for my olive oil because I can hit right where I want it and not miss spots if I'm doing like a big pan full of roasted carrots or something. You know, if you use a big bottle, you just kind of shake it and hope you get them all. Unless you get in there and mix them together. So anyway, speaking of mix it together, I'm going to roll these around in my hand. Before I do that, I'm going to turn you guys off so that I won't have to touch you after I've got it thoroughly all over my hands. I can just wipe a finger off, okay, I guess. So, I'll get back to you. Then i got to put salt all over them. So, in they go. They've been washed, olive oiled, and salted. And um, now I, I'm thinking an hour. I didn't look at the recipe because I don't know what, I think these are large potatoes. But anyway, 425 degrees. I'm going to go until 602. Okay, I'm back. The ham, I took like 15 slices. I'll put the rest in the fridge. It'll get eaten up. Um, it's really, really good ham. <clears throat> I tasted a piece of it. And then I'm going to serve it with these. I was asked to please make the rising kind of rolls, you know, the... Um, Anyway, they're frozen dough balls, and you put them in a pan, and they rise, and then you cook them. I forgot until just now, and it's 5 o'clock. There's no time to do that, so this is going to have to do, and I'm so sad that I forgot. 
I hate it when I do that because I'm here. I could have done it. You know, I need to write everything down at my age. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'll let you know when something new happens here. Here's the bacon. And I think I'm only going to use a little bit of it because, like I cut off here, and put the rest in a bag in the freezer, or the fridge for now. Um, you know, it's just to chop up and uh, put on top of the potatoes if you want as a topping, along with sour cream, cheese, green onions, all that stuff. So, I'll go with that. So we got this to go in. It's just sizzling away. I hope this is enough. I'm pretty sure it will be. Alrighty then, the bacon is finished. I'm going to turn it off, let it cool just a tiny bit, and then I'm going to lay it on paper towels to drain nice. The potatoes are done. I just took them out of the oven and um, they baked for a little bit over an hour just a little bit and i've got the crescent rolls here on a non-stick pan with foil non-stick foil and i'm gonna go ahead and bake these as soon as i look and see how long i need to do that <laughs> so we go 12 minutes done i mean it stopped blinking so now it's timing I'm sorry for all the noise. I uh, am standing next to the dishwasher here. Well, it's over there. I um, cut them in half. So I'm going to wait until they get a little bit cooler before I try to scoop them out. Just a little bit enough to handle. And then I'm going to add bell. Why do I keep calling these bell peppers? They're green peppers. Some bacon, some sour cream, some butter. Uh, I can't remember what else. But I'll get to it, and I'll show you when I do it. Meanwhile, we got the ham, and it's doing its thing here in a pan. Just I just put some olive oil in it, and that was it. I don't know, maybe I should have just used water. But olive oil seemed like the idea I had, so that's what I did. And really, all it has to do is get warm. I don't know why I'm even cooking it already, but a little bit of crust on it would be pretty, too. Poor thing, she's starving to death. Joy Bell! Joy! Are you eating? <laughs> Let's see how a grapefruit spoon works. Okay, here we go. I've got the potatoes out of their jackets. And I've got bacon. I've got green onions, sour cream, and butter. Because butter is baking everything better. And I hope that I didn't... Oh! That signals that the... Um, Seasoned green beans are done in the air fryer, we hope. I've never done seasoned green beans, not in the air fryer or any other way, uh, from this kind of bird's eye package, but I'm hoping that it'll, you know, I think I probably should have mashed them really soft before I added the bacon and the onions, but I just did it all together. And I think it's gonna take maybe more cream cheese. Just eyeballing what it looks like when I've had it before. So I'm going to go ahead and put more cream cheese in it. Okay, so I just got this message, important message from the back. Cream cheese, ew! It's not cream cheese, it's sour cream. I'm so sorry. It is sour cream. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I don't know. They look okay to me. I wonder what they're really seasoned with and if they're, they're perfectly hot. Ooh, they're very hot. I was going to taste one, but I think I'll not do that. I'm adding more sour cream to this, and I'll show you the rolls next. Okay, so here are the rolls, and I think they came out quite nice. You don't often get that perfect golden, do you? Not here at this house. <laughs> and here's the ham. We're just going to make a little, because so far there's only two of us home. There's one on the way. Um, he had classes tonight after a full day of work. I don't know how he does it. He's just, he's young. That's how he does it. I'll show you a plate when I get him finished. All right, I'm putting the cheese on now. Put, oops, <laughs> slinging cheese. We're using Tillamook Mexican four blend, four cheese, because it was the only cheese I had already shredded and I don't have time to fool with it. The <laughs> times are getting late in here. And um, yeah, I think because it's dark, I just feel done now, now in the evenings. I'm just done with it all. <laughs> People, get your plates in. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. 
I'm going to get all this cheese up before it melts away. i got to put it under broil until it browns. And like I said, when I'm done, I'm going to put up pictures of a plate. And if you stayed this long, please subscribe. I love to meet new people. I always say that. If you know, you know. Kendra is a chatter. Okay, bye everybody. Okay, so I was just asked a question, how long should this go in there? I'm going to put the recipe at the bottom of this uh, when it's all finished so that you can see. It came from the Pioneer Woman, and what I told the person who asked here, and I'm not supposed to use their names, is I said, I'm going to stand here and watch it. Rather than go back in the other room, fire up the, the old laptop, not, no, it's not a laptop, it's a desktop. Anyway, I'm just going to look at it, and when it's melted, it's done, because everything else is done, and that's how she rolls. And also, I wanted to say, oh, when you read Pioneer Woman's description, of how good these are, you will have to laugh. It was bordering on obscene. Okay, that's it. In they go, it's on broil and can't leave it for a minute, so I'm just gonna stand here. Okay, so you know, like this one and this one, they look perfect. These are not so much, so I'm turning it in the oven, but first I'm getting these two out. Uh, that's all. Okay, these, um, this is everything, and these are to me a lot like a breaded um, okra but it's green bean and it's delicious. I, I'll, I would buy that again, but it's extra calories, you know, with the breading. And then there's the little roll, crescent roll, the ham and the potato. And that, my dears, is my dinner tonight. And I hope that if you enjoyed it, you'll come back again if you're not already somebody who returns like many of my friends do. Take care.